Hi Sexy, come and watch till the end. Monolith, a futuristic automotive brand, advertises at the start of the film. The ad's presenter claims the automobile is the world's greatest and has several safety features. He adds the automobile is current and has several safety measures, such as unbreakable glass, powerful tires, a sturdy body, and more, to safeguard passengers from theft and harm. An AI-enabled smartphone app controls all automobile functions from inside. Lilith, a virtual assistant, simplifies the car's interface. Next, a mom drives her youngster to his grandmother's home in an AI automobile. Lilith, the AI assistant, tells us Sandra is the mother and David is her two-year-old kid. Carl, her husband, pilots. He was too busy to join. The automobile can weigh each passenger. After finishing his work, Carl contacts them to say he misses them and is at the central airport. Carl bids farewell when the doorbell rings. Sandra offers David her phone to distract him as he acts up. Sandra stops at a roadside patrol station. She then diapers David in the restroom as several females giggle. The petrol station's food shop sells Sandra's son's favorite treats. Sandra watches a vehicle break in while paying at the desk. She does not concern since she can lock the vehicle with her phone. Sandra did not notice David's departure since she is too busy gazing about. She cries and searches the grocery store when she discovers David is gone. She hurries out and phones a stranger thinking David is with him. She is terrified until she discovers David with the same three ladies from the restroom. Sandra gets David in her vehicle and activates vault mode immediately. She relaxes as this distracts her from the outer world. Sandra's mother-in-law's home is still far away after leaving the petrol station. On the lengthy trip, Sandra phones Jessa to check in. Jessa calls her from a major airport hotel. She informs Jessa that she and Carl are hotel guests. Sandra's friend's infidelity with her husband breaks her heart. She is so upset that she does not go into her mother-in-law's home. Carl ignores her calls and seems busy. Sandra grows weary of the falsehoods and takes action. She seeks Carl at Lex. She passes a sign indicating Los Angeles is 320 miles away. After a time Lilith, the clever AI, informs them that a large accident on the main highway will delay them considerably. She then advises Sandra to take the shortcut. The AI also believes the route is practically deserted and has few people. Sandra immediately turns around because she wants to chat to her spouse. After dark, Sandra has problems driving. She struggles to see the road ahead as the fog thickens. She passes no people or autos. She discovers power in the wilderness. She glances around and drives off. Due of its emptiness, only wild creatures reside there. Sandra gets worried and strikes a deer crossing the road because she loses focus. Sandra usually offers David her phone when he cries. She immediately exits the vehicle to check on the animal, but it seems to be dying. Sandra cannot move her vehicle since the deer is trapped under the front. Sandra forgets she left David in the vehicle while she investigated. David accidentally opens the AI vehicle app while toying with his phone. He switches on the car's vault without Sandra knowing. This feature shields residents from noise and danger. Sandra attempts to open the door, but it is too late. Sandra gets locked out of the vehicle, so she asks two-year-old David to turn off the vault mode. David cannot comprehend a word she says, so he plays with the phone. Later, Sandra freaks out and yells at the youngster, scaring him into dropping the phone beneath his seat. Sandra discovers that the monolith car's features are functional. Sandra cannot scratch the window glass with a rock. After realizing her attempts are futile, Sandra tries something different. She returns to the substation. She reaches the station after walking. She leaps the fence and shouts for rescue. She gets no response, and the station seems vacant. Sandra finds what she needs in a room. She packs a screwdriver and a flashlight for nighttime usage. She sees a strange beast pursuing her out of the substation. Sandra hurries back, but a dog bites her. She tried hard to frighten the animal, but it did not care. Sandra hits the automobile with the wrench as a final resort. The coyote flees when the alarm sounds. Sandra observes David struggling to breathe. She calms David, who breathes again and falls asleep. Sandra falls asleep on the car's hood after contemplating. Sandra wakes up at dawn the following morning. She rushes to the vehicle to check on David. David's hunger and thirst make her assume he is exhausted. The automobile displays the outside temperature, which is progressively increasing. Sandra's isolation is a curse. Sandra continues to seek therapy. She walks far despite being thirsty. She realizes leaving David in the heated vehicle is peerless but must phone for rescue. She is glad to discover a river to drink and wash. 
After resting, she climbs tough hills. After trekking many kilometers, Sandra sees a plane at an abandoned airfield. The emergency cooling fan activates immediately when the monolith car's temperature rises. Sandra discovers drunken beverages, a gallon of petrol, a lighter, and two spare aircraft tires in the plane that was left behind. She drinks and gets what she needs. To obtain aid, Sandra sets fire to the two tires using gasoline. She fills the gallon with river water. Sandra slowly returns to David. Next, Sandra runs to the vehicle and finds David weak and red. David ignores her. The emergency fans stopped operating when the car's temperature rose. After seeing her son's behavior, Sandra climbs the roof. She pours river water over him, but nothing works. She hits the vehicle glass again with the wrench, afraid her kid would perish in the high-tech automobile. But this wastes her time. Later, Sandra attempts to set a fire outside the vehicle so the sensors would notice smoke and unlock the windows, but nothing occurs. To heat smoke out, emergency cooling fans cease functioning. Sandra falls asleep and envisions herself and Carl returning to the accident scene a year later. She realizes her mistake, but still blames Carl for David's death. A noise awakens her up, revealing it was all a dream. The fox from last night appears again. Sandra climbs on top of the vehicle to escape. She cannot remain in the heated automobile. She slips beneath the automobile. Seeking biting her leg, Sandra realizes the quayo is seeking the deer. After the quayo drags the deer, the automobile rolls rearward. The buck stalled the automobile. Sandra jumps out from beneath the vehicle and attempts to stop it from moving rearward. She did her best, but the automobile continued rolling backwards and was falling. A little pebble stops the automobile. Sandra recalls the gas station cartoon as she stares down from the ledge. That cartoon discovered the gem after breaking into the safe. She considers pushing the vehicle down to unlock the doors. Sandra understands her intentions may have consequences, but she has little alternative so she follows through. She breaks the rock blocking the tire with the tool. After removing the boulder, Sandra intentionally pushes the vehicle over the cliff with David inside. As soon as the automobile is launched into the air, its AI recognizes that it is falling from a high point. The car's components modify their balance and steady gravity to fall on its wheels without injuring David. Access an accident, the vehicle turns off vault mode to let rescuers access. Sandra descends the cliff and approaches the automobile after it crashes. The automobile seems like it was placed there despite falling from a considerable height. When the locked door unlocks, Sandra hurriedly pulls David out of the vehicle and opens his garments to cool him off. Sandra leaves immediately after seeing David's illness. All systems are reset before Sandra drives. Sandra uses Lilith to set the vehicle in severe off-road mode and ascend the cliff. The rugged automobile climbs the steep slope easily. Sandra somehow reaches her side road and rushes to the hospital. The movie ends with Sandra and David in the hospital. David is connected to various tubes on the hospital bed next to Sandra. Sandra looks concerned about David before he calls her mommy. The end. See you later, sexy.